All right, the hatchet's been buried with Randy Couture. Uh, how did it all come about? Well, obviously, we, you know, when it goes to court, you're talking the whole time. Uh, and uh, I think we both got sick of uh, battling court. We had him under contract, and uh, we worked it out. Speaking of court stuff, uh, Rampage, uh, he pleaded not guilty. Um, what's the status with that, and uh, will we see him uh, fight by the end of this year? Well, yeah, I, you'll see him fight before the end of the year, and I think that, you know, anything can happen in court, but at the end of the day, it, it ended up he, he had a physical ailment. Uh, it wasn't like he was drunk or on drugs driving down the street like a lunatic. He had a physical ailment, and uh, I think he's going to be fine. Your favorite topic, Tito Ortiz, uh, he's coming out saying that there's potential negotiations with the UFC. Is that fact or fiction, and would you have him back, or is this not going to happen? I, I, I don't Who cares? That, that's what I think about it. Who cares? You know, Tito likes to play games, you know. I, I don't know. I don't think Tito wants to be a fighter, you know. He, he doesn't act like a guy who wants to fight or who wants to get out there and uh, improve he's the best in the world. So, I mean, my, my, my philosophy on Tito Ortiz is who cares? In terms of uh, Fedor, uh, there's, there's an understanding out there that his contract with, with Affliction, basically they've got his rights in North America. Uh, are you waiting for Affliction, basically, because you've mentioned that they might go down under or they might just, you know, fold altogether. Is that the best option to get Fedor? I think so. I think, obviously, if you're out of business, uh, you know, you're going to have to do something with those fighter contracts. You're either going to have to pay them off or uh, I don't know what they're going to do. But, listen, I'm not out there chasing Fedor. If Fedor wants to prove that he's the best in the world, you know, he'll... He'll end up in the UFC someday. One of the things is he's under contract to another organization, and I would never, uh, you know, go after somebody who's under contract. You know how crazy I am about protecting my contract, so I wouldn't do it to somebody else. They're having a show in your own backyard uh, in October, uh, and they're complaining that there's been some difficulties in promoting the show. Uh, they're not pointing fingers at anyone, but what do you feel about these guys having a show in Vegas? I think it's hard to do. They're pointing fingers at how hard it is because they don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> you know, it would be like me getting into the t-shirt business and going out and trying to, you know, I don't know the t-shirt business. They don't know the fight business. It's never going to work. Bleedic C on CBS, they're on their last strings. Uh, it sounds like it's getting pretty bad over there. Um, would you guys step in there and try and work out a deal with uh, CBS at all, or is there any other station you're thinking about? You know, we're always talking to any of the networks. You know, we're always interested in making a deal, and we started at CBS. We started that deal. So, uh, I, like I said, I, I always say about Les Moonves, you know, he's the godfather of television. He's a bright guy, and if Les Moonves wants to come back and, and, and talk about doing a deal, I'd love to talk to him. Their next main event's got Kimball versus Shamrock. Um, a, I, you're one of the first people I thought of when that fight was put together because I could just imagine what, how, you know, if you were flying the wall. What are your thoughts on that boat? Well, you know, Ken Shamrock was in a beef with us over his contract. We thought he retired. He was claiming he didn't and still has one fight. And my attitude was I'd rather pay Ken Shamrock to not fight. Okay, I'd rather pay him the fight and say, just stay home, Ken. Ken is way past his prime. It gets to the point where it's dangerous for that guy to still be fighting. That being said, he still might beat Kimbo. <laughs> Kimbo sucks. Interesting. Now, um, you're always about making big fights. You don't pay attention to rankings. You've always, you know, you, you nailed some expletives in terms of rankings, but there's Anderson Silva out there uh, and Ed Suarez, his manager, saying, we would love to have a fight with Chuck. Would that be a fight you guys like to put on? Yeah, I think... The position that Anderson Silva's in right now, he's in, he, he's got a lot of interesting fights. He can stay at 85 and, and defend his title like he's said many times he wants to do. He can move up to 205 and, and mess around with any of the any of the big dogs at 205. He has a potential matchup with George St. Pierre. If George St. Pierre uh, beats BJ, you know, uh, GSP could meet him at a catch weight. He's got a lot of interesting fights. He's a guy who likes to challenge himself all the time, and he's at a, at a good weight and in a good place in his career where he can definitely do that. Now we're at UFC 88, and of course, uh, Carl Persson, unfortunately, had to pull out of his fight. Uh, any update on Carl? Is he okay? And who moves up onto the main card? He hurt his back um, uh, yesterday, I think. It was either yesterday or this morning, and uh, we moved the Rio Chonin fight up. Um, you mentioned uh, New York. You've mentioned uh, Massachusetts. Those are the two priorities. And third, you, at the last show, you said Toronto would be third. Uh, any updates on what's happening in Canada in terms of uh, changing any laws or bringing the show to Toronto? Well, we don't think that uh, New York and Mass is going to happen till early '09. So if that happens, I told you, we're, we're, we're aggressively going after Canada. And not just Toronto, everywhere. Speaking of Canada, is there uh, another date coming soon, uh, perhaps in Montreal again? Yeah, we, you know, we were looking at Montreal at the end of this year, um, but things change every day. You know, we were talking about Portland at the end of this year. You know, there's a lot of places that we still want to go. Montreal, we're definitely going back to Montreal. It was awesome there.
And one last question now. George St. Pierre, we mentioned him earlier on in the interview. Uh, is there any update on his contract? Has it, has it been finalized? Yeah, we, 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 we have a deal with, with George St. Pierre. Yeah, he, he's not going anywhere. He's a UFC guy. Thank you very much for your time, Dana. Pleasure.